Hi, Anne, how are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot. Nice to meet you and thank you very much for a beautiful, big, pleasant surprise that arrived today in the post. And not only one deck, to my big astonishment and amazing, uh, I'm flattergasted, I can't even get out of my words, the other deck, the mini, um, I forgot the name, can you help the me with that? Messages deck. The mini messages, because I'm just so flabbergasted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, I that um, yeah. Well, I've just come out with it. I said, can I uh, do an interview with you? And then I'm, wow. She she does. She's a really open-hearted lady. She's like an open book. She's willing to. And I love your writing. I really do. <laughs> it's a, it says a lot about a person. Well, you know, when you can read cards, you can read handwriting as well. Can uh, you tell me where you are from? So I'm from the UK, um, from the north of England, from North Yorkshire in the ah, UK. Ah, the Geordie country. All right, no, lass. Right, it's a bit further south than Geordie, Yorkshire. Oh, Yorkshire. <laughs> well, the Yorkshire yeah. Dale's beautiful. Yeah, ah, that's right. Great. That's where the last of the summer wine was. I want to go there. Oh, I love those three <laughs> men. <laughs> That's where I get my accent from because they're really crack. Nora Betty. Oh, I love that lady. She always had a cup of tea. And you're, you're in your cards, you've got cups, cups and teapots and the details and yeah. biscuits and cakes. Oh, you're so cheerful cards. So Tell us more about you. What motivated you to start writing cards? Right. Well, originally um, it started off and I used to work uh, in a school and right. I was on the reception desk at the front of school. So 600 children, visitors all day long. And I couldn't have a pot of sweets on the desk because you're not allowed to take sweets into school. So... I had a little box and I made it myself. I, I made it out of a little box and I put into the box little messages and every one was a lovely, life-affirming, cheerful message like, you can do it, you're great, you've done your best today, all sorts of lovely things like keep smiling. Just And I called it my little box of loveliness and I had it on the reception desk where I worked. Was that for and children? What, was that for children specifically? Not for children, just for the adults, the teachers and the visitors. Ah. Only for the, only for the visitors, not, not the children. And I kept finding out that the box was emptying all the time. I was having to make more <laughs> and more little, copy more and more little messages. And then I would find them all over school, on windowsills, on people's laptops. Ah. And people say, oh, before I sign in, please, can I have one of these? And so cutting a long story short, um, I decided to make an angel card deck because I love cards. I love angel cards. I love anything to do with angels. Yes. Uh, and I had written a little book about angels previously. <laughs> and I thought, you know, what, I'll do that. And so that was the first ever deck. You wrote a book. And I've written a book, yes. I have a little book called Wait for it. Teacups, tea, angels and me. <laughs> oh, lovely. And is it, is it published? I published it myself. It isn't nationally published, but I published it myself. Are you going to try um, to publish it with a publisher? Oh, yes. Yes, I will do. I'm oh, going great. To do. You've got me really excited about that now. Um, can I show you the first ever deck? Yes, please. I'm dying to see. So, here it is. Oh, that looks, I love the hearts with the crown. This deck yeah. has got also that, got the little, crown. Yeah, it's a little halo. It's my drawing of a halo. Ah, right. <laughs> so in this deck, we have 44 different angels. And it's really simple because it just has one word on it. And a lovely little... Can you, can you hold it up a bit, please? Because I can't see. Yeah. All right. Okay. A word so and a like, uh, verse. So that one is silence. And it says, 
be peacefully quiet listen to the silence it's where your answers will be found yes oh that's beautiful so we have 44 different angels there there's one look focusing on your strengths and she's in the gym she's doing some <laughs> in the gym um if I can find it, if she comes to the top of the deck, uh, the favourite one of quite a lot of people in this is the angel on the pogo stick jumping up and down because she's having <laughs> such a good time. Well, um, now I can understand where your ideas come from, from the kids on the pogo sticks. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's I can't just find that card because there are 44 different ones, but that was how it started. Um, and then once I'd made those cards and I was... I was really excited about those. I, I was, um, and I so enjoyed doing it. I so enjoyed drawing the angels. Um, I thought, well, I can do another one. I, I'll do another deck. Um, and I was asked to go into a local uh, mind, body, spirit shop and read the cards. So the second deck, which took I mean, it sounds like I make them in a week. Well, I, I, I don't. It takes ages to do them. I reckon you do because the drawing intensively doesn't matter how simple it is. And I think it's more difficult when it's simple because you have to really think, how am I going to do it and in yeah. what way? I don't know where you get your ideas from, but I, I, I get, understand a little bit. It's usually uh, most probably from the kids at school. Yeah. The, you see, the first one, you're actually drawing a word. So that one's love, love and light. So I did the heart and the candle for the love and light. Um, so the second deck, I thought, well, I need to have a bit more information with this one. Um, so this is the one, that's the little halo on the back. Yeah, I've got that deck. And this is I one of the new, yeah, yeah, the mini messages. And so I thought I'd put this one into soup. So I thought, right, we'll have suits in this deck and then I can be that when you put things into suits, you've got the chance to give so much more information. There's more decks. Yes, true. So we've got because the if, you, if you've got the suits like inspiration, I take it that is the air sign or is the inspiration the water sign because it's blue? No, it's it's. It's ideas. It's ideas. Thought. Okay, that's the swords. So then you can relate it, and there are they're also numbered, aren't they? Or not the, this one. Not yet. No, I'm <laughs> not so. I'm not so familiar with the um, with the, the 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 inspiration cards, but yeah. I've got them here. But yeah. um, so the purple is action again. No, now that so if we do uh, inspiration is thoughts and ideas. Yeah. And then you've got balance. Yeah, intuition, going yeah. within. Okay, going within, right. Spiritual, yeah. spiritual. Yeah. That means balance. spiritual for me. Yeah, balance is resting, taking a step back, thinking it through. And then we have action, go for it. And, and that again, that's a, people absolutely I love, love this her. One. I love it, her and I made a mistake because I made a, made a reaction on Instagram and I said it's the same card as yesterday, not looking any further because I just saw the angel on a scooter and she was going for it. Yes. <laughs> and I said to you, the energy hasn't changed. <laughs> <laughs> so with that one, it's about forward movement. So you're busy, you're, you're doing, you're taking action. Um, so that was the simple deck and there are 44 cards in it four suits with 11 cards in each suit and that one I, I started to do more readings with because you've got more to work with work with and what yeah. i like about that if i may add is that these cards you don't have to have a, a detailed booklet with it because you've got everything underneath it and you can let your intuition go so long you know what the colour is. So now that is clear to me. Inspiration is thoughts. Sorry, because I also speak two languages. And balance, I would balance. Yeah, uh, that to me it's green. So that speaks to me balance going within earthy. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So yes. that would, I would translate that into pentacles. <laughs> yes. 
yes, that makes complete sense. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. But, I, you know, I love quirky cards. Well, um, I love the House of Shadows as well by Monica Bodursky. She's quirky and I love the Shadowlands, um, these. And it, it just is more appealing. It lets your imagination Boom, go out there. That's the, the magician with the pink gloves and the pink apron. I call her, I call the magician the mad housewife. I'm sure I'm going to get that with yours because I was already, when, once I opened the pack and I've already done a review, but I haven't edited yet. I was sitting here laughing at the, the naughtiness, the mischievousness of some of the angels. <laughs> I love your sense of humor. I really do. And it's, you know, it is, I think it's going to be engraved on your tombstone, time two. <laughs> <laughs> because you've got, that is your handle, according to me. That is how I will, I will remember to, time two. And I think that is very clear because people, um, ah, yes, I've got a task to do. Time to do what? Yeah. Time to open the doors to new opportunities, enjoy abundance that is coming in. And it is number one. Yes, the Ace of Pentacles. And it's it started to work. Once something starts to work with me, I really get hot and and the energy is just going there. And I know the angels are here. I love the angels and I'm lucky to be chosen to be a channel for healing as well. And I'm so happy to meet you and honored. Oh, bless Thank you. you. Likewise. And I, I just love it that you come from Yorkshire. From I love Yorkshire. It. Yeah, the Judy. <laughs> great sense of humour. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Well, I hope to come to Yorkshire. That was a lo lifelong dream of mine. And I want to go see if it, uh, I'm, my dream is to go around England and do, um, uh, readings uh, like uh, what do you call it? A gig in every town, oh, uh, yes, yes, like yes, a, pop, a yes. pop group. I would love to do that a road <laughs> road trip. Yeah, well, I'm a typical Gemini. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Uh, what date? Eight. Eight. Oh, my brother is six. Uh, Virgos are per perfectionists for other people, not so much for themselves. Because once they've got their focus on something, and then they're off. They're on their own little world. Yes. <laughs> and yes, now that I can. Yes. Yes. But they're lovely people. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Can you thank tell you. us any more about the cards? Yes. yes. So um, I decided to do because I so enjoy reading angel cards, and I was finding that when I was doing readings in my local mind body spirit shop a lot of people would say I wish I could do that yes I do I wish I could do that and I most of the time said, you can do this this no, is why I have, have to be an artist you are an artist yeah. I've, got, I've got the pictures in my brain but I can't put it on paper to save the life of me so I think this is very clever so I'm saying to people you can do this read for yourself as well you know this is how you do it. If you start that lovely conversation with your angels, you can use the cards to help you do that. Ask a question, pull a card and start that lovely dialogue. So um, because I so enjoyed like the, the angel tarot cards and the angel cards, a, an idea came to me and it, it wouldn't go out of my head. And it was time to shine, time to shine. This couldn't, this little I Time to feeling. shine. So I wrote down the words in a, in a in a notebook. Time to shine, and then I wrote down every number. And I knew I wanted like a major arcana type of deck, but I didn't necessarily want a tarot deck because I wanted it to be um, um, an oracle deck. So it started, and I just wrote all the numbers down and then I drew a picture of an angel which to me um, gave the energy of the card and the number right. and to what was going on. I think that's so very this, clever because you're getting two decks in one. Yeah so this 
deck that we're talking about now, which is the Time to Shine deck. That's the one. Um, it has um, a wisdom suit with 22 cards in. So that's the akin arcana. to a major arcana. And yeah. on the little guidebook, on the little, little card, those are the ones that have extra emphasis. Do you think do you think this is easy? I'll, I'll keep my my opinion for afterwards. What do you think? Do you think um, young children or beginners could use this card or do you think it's too advanced? If you don't know tarot. Everybody can use it that and that was and anybody because it isn't a standard tarot deck. Thank and, you. That's what I thought. It, I wanted people to be able to pick up the cards and smile. Low pick threshold. That's what we in Holland call low threshold. So you're like kids. The kids can because it's like children's drawing, innocent drawings. Yeah. Yes. They can they can you know, you can the kids will understand what angels are. That's what's coming yeah. to me. And they will yeah. open it's like it's Christmas, the angels and that they will pick up a card each day and they can yeah. use it as a task. And then when once they grow up, they can uh, <clears throat> get, go deeper into the uh, cards and use the tarot side if they're interested or so inclined. And that's, that's what I find also magical about this deck. Yeah, that, 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 that sums it up absolutely beautifully because the emphasis of it, the um, yeah, look at what the picture, look at what the angels are doing in the picture and that will tell you hopefully the energy and the message on the card. So I made them very visual so it's not complicated, it's nothing something that you have to try to find within the drawing. Just look what what are the angels doing? Yeah, and that well, will be... look at that and that flipped yeah. out because I can't leave a card deck alone. Sorry to interrupt. Um, <laughs> I can't leave it. I'm always fiddling with cards, but that's what came out. And this card, I it's um, the thought. It's um, yeah. I forgot the suit now. Um, It'll be pink, or... pink, pink is action, action. Yeah, this I call. It, it's supposed to be red, I think, but I call it the pink sword, cyclamen and pink, and that and that reminds me of the action deck. And so that's the end of difficulties. So that's yeah. quite that's quite true in my case, and I also for you because it's also a new beginning, and because the angels are holding hands to guide themselves or each other up the stairs upwards and onwards and I feel we've made this is significant today because I've met you and I'm I'm going to try my best to promote your 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 cards and your decks and you and I hope everybody that's watching this will go on to your in Instagram Facebook YouTube and give Anne some support guys and promote this deck and if you're in wanting to learn tarot or oracle you've got two decks in one and it's not um, I'm not um, sitting here um, promoting it or pushing it no way you uh, once you feel the deck um, you feel the energy straight away um, I didn't I just got onto the second suit and then um, it was just that's mine I they belong to me and it's time to move on be happy enjoy things as they get better and believe you me it does but you have to take the steps and to climb the ladder or the stairs and help everybody around you. You scratch my back in England, we've got a saying, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. <laughs> and that is solidarity. And that is what life is all about. So bring love, peace and solidarity together. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. That, that I can remember drawing that card. I mean, I can remember drawing them all. Um, and the intention with it is to get angel card reading, angel card decks out there and allow people to enjoy it and put a smile on the face. Well, I'm so, you've certainly put a smile on my face also <laughs> in meeting you. And I just wanted to see and I wanted the people to see who was behind these cards. That's why I asked for an interview. 
Thank you. Thank you. And um, I hope to meet you one day in real life. Oh, we'll make sure of that. Somewhere it will happen. I'm certain of that. I will come over on the over the lake on the <laughs> boat and I will go to I'll, Hull. I'll go to Hull. <laughs> and I'll, I'll put kettle on and we can have a cup of tea when you get here. With a digestive biscuit with chocolate on yes. it. <laughs> with a <laughs> teaspoon and dunk it and then what it is stuck in the tea, you pick it out with a little spoon. <laughs> You've got to be English to understand that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's the way. We'll invite Nora Betty as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. my goodness, yes. yes. And, so, um, who are those two people in your cards? When I started to get the idea together of um, drawing all these angels, I decided to draw my to represent my own daughters so the little figures are my own daughters in the cards and i and saw in one i uh, sorry i saw in one of the cards uh, they're sitting together i can't find it now and one is an h and one is an l is that right the the yes. name and is yes. that does Haley mean anything or helen no, well, I, I wouldn't give out their names over the um, on on a on a live chat because I haven't no, asked them. But, yes, I understand them, but is that the initials? Is that yeah. the initials of their name? Yeah, it's. I think it's the. I think it's the four. I think it's a four card that one, and they're just sitting watching the sunset. Um, yeah, I said sunset or sunrise. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the sunrise, and um, yes, that's exactly right. Sorry, so, I so, asked that I, question. Sorry. That's all right. Um, sometimes the um, cards have both girls on together. Um, yes, like here, have... like this one. Yes, yes. It's so, like they're in the gen, uh, in the garden in the conservatory. Yeah. Now um, that one, they're opening a new chapter of a new book and helping each other move on. Um, so again. All of the all of them have different. Again, when you first look at the card, I don't, there we are. Yes, I, I thought it was uh, in the conservatory because the pot, plant pots there. I didn't see the other girl uh, pulling books out of the shelf. Yes. Sorry. Now on the original drawing, on the original drawing, you know, sometimes by the time the drawings are made to fit on the size of a card that you want, some of the fine details goes, but they're actually in a library. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that yeah. because yes. the other girl yes. was pulling books out of the the bookshelf. Yeah. Um, but you, that, yes. that you know, I I have this with decks. I've got decks that I've had for years, and all of a sudden I see something else in them that I've never yeah. seen before, and it is also different for whoever you read, because sometimes you you get um, guided by the angels and the guides to look deeper or different into a card and you say what i have i've had these cards for three years and i haven't seen that before like in the enchanted tarot on the anchor i never yeah. realized i just saw sand but i didn't see the mermaid lying in the sand yes Yes. So things the, will appear to me like this card. I think that's amazing as well. I saw you use that one. And then I thought, oh, Mary, yes. Mary Poppins. That's right. Somebody coming in to help you. Yeah. Um, you've, you've, you've sent out and somebody's coming in with everything you need to help you keep moving. But quite often um, on the deck, these tiny little... I know they've got writing on them as well. Little writing on the presence. There's little, tiny little details that you can pick out that yeah. will help with the reading. Um, gives it a bit more interest, but it, it gets the message across, which yes, is, Yes, but it's you know, still simple. And that's what I noticed. There was writing, yeah. ready, good, even better or something. Ready, good, even better. That was yes, on one of the cards. And I love the, 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 the the cake tear you don't see yes. them anymore but i love it and that's high tea and that's an yes, all, another wish the uh, high tea at the ritz <laughs> oh very nice <laughs> oh, lovely yeah 
I, lo- I just, I, I, well, I've got a tea room and I've got beautiful cyber angels. Every viewer, it, in the beginning, it was cyber babes. Hi, babes. And it was a bit American, but it became cyber angels. Yes. And I'm cyber mum. And I, I tell you the truth. I, once my girls uh, went out of the house and left home, um, you, you felt lost. And I found my course and that was the cards. And Brenda spurred me on. And Brenda said, why don't you go on YouTube? I said, I don't have the guts. But she spurred me on and she's a terrific lady. And that is Brenda from Brenda Terror Readings. And... Uh, It's like if I live next door to her, thanks to YouTube and the cyber uh, uh, and the digital means that we have nowadays. So she's a brilliant reader as well, and we support each other. And look where I am now, two years and three weeks later. Wow. Yes, fantastic. And now I'm meeting you. It is like I feel like a a star, you know, like uh, I'm allowed to walk on the red carpet with the stars. (laughs) Because you're the star and I'm the um, interviewer. Thank you very much. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. It's absolutely made my day. And um, for the deck to come out just now as well, I mean, I started it months ago and this time to shine, I just couldn't get it out of my head. Especially what's going on now with the COVID. Yeah, I just got the box of... This is the first run of cards that I've got. Um, How many were I, there? I, just, uh, I got uh, I got a, a box of fifty decks. The first fifty box. decks. So hurry up, guys! This is the first edition. It will be worth money. First edition the first always edition. is. Um, and I just got them uh, back from the printers, and then within two weeks we went into lockdown. And I just had this feeling I was disappointed at first because I was all ready to go with them. And I'm thinking, oh, I'll get them on on YouTube and I'll get them on my Facebook page. And it all went really quiet and nobody was going out. And I thought, no, it's it, the time will come. And I just feel now we're emerging from that and the time to shine. We're all ready to do that, aren't we now? Yes, well, I've been doing that sometimes. uh, And Brenda, that's where Brenda and I support each other. Sometimes I just feel right. Nobody's giving me super chats or this or that. I'm only getting stuck at uh, uh, 2000 and so many uh, uh, viewers and I want to be up there and I want to do more. um, And um, I just got so fed up and uh, I'm just being really open and honest here and I do give a lot and it takes three, four days just to make a week's recording because of making it, editing it, uploading it again and editing again and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I'm I'm a Gemini, so I rabbit on. So I rabbit, rather rabbit to people, but I found a solution to that as well. <laughs> um, uh, I won't. Uh, promote my own I'll do that on uh, another time but uh, there are new things coming as well and what I'm uh, uh, what I will do is tell you um, uh, for the first time I was in a cyber fair and it was English and I've been invited again to go on Sunday Um, but I uh, obviously uh, because of my history with the whiplash I have to also balance my energy so yeah. I will be going out in the fair again um, and I will be promoting this deck oh. on, the, on the English Life Fair and that is life and soul. Go and have a look yourself <clears throat> because you can promote your own uh, your own goodies and your own toko, uh, your own business and you'll meet a lot of other um, uh, mediums, readers, psychics, um, whatever, uh, uh, gong baths, um, but I'll be using this and this deck just to promote because I was talking to Nadine, Nadine Stevens, I think she's called, excuse me, Nadine, if you're listening to this, um, but this is an author of a deck, The Time to Shine, and um, she's really great to have on your fair, okay? Um, and uh, they do also, um, they ask people to, to donate that watch the fair and everybody on the fair um, to donate to a charity. And this week it is for the blind, the children mainly. 
Um, that's why you will see all the little no, no, notations underneath the videos uh, in the coming week. And I, 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 I love doing things like that because I've got a second chance, so I'm bringing it back. Oh, lovely. Bless you. Yeah. That, that's so that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I mean, when I woke up this morning, I had absolutely no idea just what a fantastic, even brilliant day this was going to be. But to get um, the opportunity to talk about these the because it is you know, your life it is something that you yeah. your passion your love is in there and you just i you know when it's like when you've had a present and you're opening it up and you want to tell everybody thing everybody about it yeah. and i know the feeling it's great yeah. to have done this yeah. with you thank you very very much bless you too thank you so much for this opportunity you're welcome. i'm absolutely welcome. thrilled to be and, and please keep us informed how you're doing and when the when the next deck is out yes and i will <laughs> get some inspiration now um and if somebody picks up the deck and it makes them smile and it brings guidance and this lovely connection what a, a job well done isn't it so yes you have deserved it the angels always take care of you oh bless you thank you so much this is i can't do without them Love you. Take, Take care. care. Bye bye. We'll chat soon. Ciao, ciao. God bless. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all. And I'll see you in the life Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Ciao, ciao.